Hi, my name is Ken Chambers. I'm the pastor of Westside Missionary Baptist Church here in District 3. Our church has been here for 73 years. Uh, I am a third generation family member of Oakland. I have lived in Oakland for 50 years myself. Uh, I live in District 3, and I have also family that live in District 6. To the Council President McElhaney, uh, we thank you for your leadership on this. We're asking and urging that you continue to make sure that we ban coal from coming to Oakland. The train route in which this train would travel is through several low-income communities of people of color. You ever heard the saying, I live over there behind the railroad tracks? Well, it's usually industrial. People have already been polluted from industrial uh, uh, migration and so on and thus forth. We now do not need a train coming through those communities all up from Utah to Oakland to bring coal that would then go to China and, and India and other parts of the world that then would come back in a global warming catastrophe for us and West Oakland could be underwater in the next 30 to 50 years. We need to stand up and make sure that doesn't happen. Housing is another big issue in Oakland. I mean, without the proper housing, it's an environmental catastrophe. People are living on the streets, they're defecating on the streets, they're, they're garbage on the street because they can't afford housing. Then they're pushed up out of the city. It is two major problems that we together are working to rid ourselves of and rid this city of. We need leadership from the council, uh, the mayor, uh, to make sure that one, we ban coal from coming to Oakland, any other type of fossil fuels for people to have fresh air to breathe. I am a cancer survivor. My kids have had asthma growing up. Uh, my grandkids have had asthma trouble. We do not need coal coming to Oakland causing any more health casualties in our city. Housing is such extreme now that people are exiting out of this city and, and we're losing quality residents that's been here for so long and it's a shame that you can't afford to live in a city in which you were born in. So again, we're asking the city council for leadership on this. Thank you very much. Hello, my name is Patricia Lopez. I was born and raised in Oakland, mostly in the flatlands of Oakland. And I'm here to um, make some comments about the train, the coal trains going through Oakland. And um, I'm looking at some questions that are here to sort of prompt us. And the first one is, what do I know about the train route? Well, that's one of my issues. I think that if the train were routed through a different part of Oakland, or if they had planned to route it through a different part of Oakland, we wouldn't be having this conversation right now. You run that train through Upper Broadway, Rock Ridge, Claremont, Piedmont, those people in those neighborhoods are not gonna stand for that. But you put that train going through West Oakland, and who cares, okay? Nobody really cares because of the NIMBY thing, you know, not in my backyard. So um, I think that the people that are responsible for this should take another look at what they're doing and where the train is going and the environmental issues in that area already because this is definitely an environmental justice issue. And um, like I said, as a longtime resident of Oakland, as having been raised there and lived there as a kid, I've seen the changes that are going through Oakland right now. And it's basically economic. Okay, but then they're going to turn around and try and say, well, the train going through Oakland is going to create jobs. Well, you know, maybe not. And is it worth it because of the damage that it's going to do to the residents of the area that the train is supposed to be going through? So um, my solution is to make another consideration about where the train is running and think about other places you could put it and what the reaction to those other places and by those other places would be before you automatically route that train through one of the lower income areas of this city because that's the usual, that's the usual method. You know, tried and true, it's always what happens and it always affects the same people in the same way. So think about it again, okay? I think that's only fair. I'm Derek Muhammad. Uh, Born and raised in Oakland, California. I currently reside in District 3. I am adamantly opposed to coal coming to Oakland. Uh, West Oakland, District 3, already suffers from the highest levels of asthma in all of Northern California, and to add to that would further exacerbate an already problematic situation. So please vote no on coal. Thank you. My name is Corey Dennis. I am in District 3, and I've been living in Oakland for one and a half years. 
Um, I guess my opinion on the whole Cole situation is just being someone who spends a lot of time outdoors skateboarding and really being an avid, you know, enthusiast of being healthy because that's the key to like, you know, living long. Um, I don't think it's really cool at all. Um, Mother Nature is here for us to live on and not live off of, but I know that my voice is only so loud and if I can say anything to anyone there, I mean, just reconsider the, uh, the consequences and repercussions of what's gonna be the outcome of what you're doing to the earth. Um, as far as the housing crisis goes, I can personally say that it's affected me. Uh, when I first moved here, I uh, moved here by myself with little to no money. And although I had the backing of a few companies and my endorsements for skateboarding, I still had to figure things out. And I did happen to meet some really amazing people that were more than a blessing to me to allow me to move into their house with them. It'd be really cool if you went and walked around these neighborhoods and, and really got to know the people who were, who, like, who make this city great. I came here and I didn't know anybody. I go to San Francisco and it was kind of like, well, this is New York, it's, it was a little rough for me. But when I came to Oakland, I got welcomed with open arms. Like this building that I'm standing in, for instance, is the Defermery Building. We all know how monumental this place is. I'm surprised there's not a statue at the front door, you know, like, I think it's really cool to be in the same place as so many great things for history in America. That alone should let you know what this city is really trying to do. This is, this is the start of a revolutionary movement in America and just being here for a year and a half and seeing the citizens really standing up and trying to communicate with their councilmen and everybody that they need to be communicating with that to me speaks volumes because where I come from, there are many problems, many and many problems, but they never get fixed in a timely manner or in a proper manner because the citizens aren't taking a stand as much as people are out here. And that showed me a lot as a young adult. And I really think Oakland is one of the first cities in the Bay to be making a very good step towards showing the rest of the state and country how things can be done if they're done properly. I'm Isabel, oh, and I'm from El Cerrito, and I don't think there, there should be coal in Oakland because, uh, well, Oakland is a great place, and it has a lot of history down in it. Why, why do you want to ruin the place? Why do you want to, and to bring in coal, hurt the environment, and, and you're bringing in a lot of racism, and you're hurting the environment and, along with it. So why do you want to do it? I don't want to call in Oakland because I love Oakland. I live in El Cerrito, but I've been here a lot. I know this place. So oh, tell me why do you want to do this? Is it for money reasons? Is it for... Any personal reasons? Just tell me, please. Okay, uh, my name is uh, Don Mann and I work for the Oakland Unified School District. I'm an SSO and I'm in District 3. It's very important that we keep the coal in the ground. Keep the coal in the ground. It's not good for our community, it's not good for our kids, it's not good for our city, it's not benefiting nobody. We must keep the coal in the ground. Our kids need to grow up in a clean environment, in a healthy environment, in a prospering environment. They have to get an education so they can go to college and get a good job. This is not going to do anything for our young people. Keep the coal in the ground. It's not benefiting the community of Oakland. It's not benefiting no one. Keep the coal in the ground. Thank you very much. Uh, yeah, one more thing, too. Um, uh, it's very hard for me to see uh, on my way to work people on the street sleeping in garages and storefronts. And when I talk to them, they tell me they're being evicted from their housing. So somebody from another city can come over and pay more rent than they can pay and afford to pay. And this is definitely not right. Uh, we have to do something about this housing crunch. It's not 
affordable for people to be living there and then you want to put them out. Where are they going to go? They're going to be in the parks, on the streets. It's not right. So we have to do something about that. Uh, I'm very, very hurt when I see people and their kids on the sidewalk sleeping or wherever they're sleeping at. And this is not right. This is not right at all. This affordable the housing has to stop. We have to make it fair for everybody to have a place to live. Thank you very much. Disaster, degradation, destruction, danger, environmental anguish, a crime where no one is blameless. Though people project shameless faces with remarks of amazement, when I say our mother is sick, the earth gave birth to those who exist. Acknowledge this and compromise a bit in the way you live. Acknowledge this and compromise a bit in the way you live. Save the future for our kids. Pave a distant glimpse of what it is to give, wholeheartedly, without reciprocity. Be conscious of mind and body over the economy. Leave ambition that will lead to the demolition of your own intuition. Let us breathing enjoy what she is leaving. Air. Instead, emissions of smoke. A sky cloaked as we choke. Our soul grows cold. Black as coal. But in the whole lies hope. We live what we spoke. Right your wrongs and those songs become quotes. West Oakland, we're known. West Oakland, we've grown. West Oakland, we're home. No coal in Oakland. I'm Ivan Satterfield. I live in District 6, and I've been a lifelong resident of the city of Oakland. Currently, right now, I'm working for the city of Oakland as a, as a public works sewer maintenance worker. The only reason I can stay in Oakland is because of family support. With the outrageous rent prices that are going up, can't afford a house, um, I would have to follow my peers and my friends if I want to stay in Oakland out to move outside the city of Oakland. But luckily I have family. I'm able to stay and we don't need to ship coal through Oakland. We don't need to have more pollution. Keep the coal in the ground. What would I ask her? I mean, are you for the, the well-being of the citizens of Oakland? Hi, I'm Ernesto. I live in District 7, and I've lived in Oakland all my life. I was born here in the Kaiser Hospital. Uh, I'm worried about the quality of life that we have here in Oakland, uh, whether it's the threat of displacement or the ongoing pollution we have in low-income people of color communities. That's why I am a resident leader with Communities for a Better Environment, and that's why I came back to my community to fight for our environment, where we live, where we work, where we play. Ya basta con el transporte del de carbón en nuestra ciudad. Ya basta con el desplazamiento. We need to stop this project because it's going to impact communities that are most vulnerable in this city. We can't stand for this injustice. So please, I beg you, Larry Reed, I know that you might be gone soon, but please take into consideration the people of the city. Thank you.